All right, everybody. Welcome back to Five Flies. This is the April episode. Excited to welcome, not as much Tanner, but we're excited to welcome <laughs> Courtney. <laughs> yes. Director of Education here at Trout's Fly Fishing at Desposca on the Instagrams. Oh. Is that the official pronunciation? We think so. Well, yeah. Like, that's what that's what I thought it was. Yeah. That's what everyone that's thinks what it was. is. What that's is cool. it? Yeah. Despicia. Despicia. Oh. No. Courtney Ann. Uh, Courtney Ann. Des- Courtney Ann Despis. Damn it. You it's just cool. ruined, like, it's also my email. Oh, but Desposka no. it is. I mean, that's what it, when I run into people, like, hey, you're Desposka yeah. or Desposka yeah. on yeah, Instagram. Yeah. Totally. Yep. Yeah. So she's Desposka on Instagram. <laughs> Tanner Sanjuani and eggs on Instagram. <laughs> Bacon oh. and eggs. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to talk about April Bacon fishing. I, I don't want to speak for uh, you guys, but April, I know we're going to say this like every every month. One of my favorite months of fish. Love I April. I actually freaking love April. Yeah. It's like everything's coming back, you know? Yeah. Spring I mean, starts it, to get hot. It yeah. starts to show up. starts to tease you a little bit. The yeah. fish start to get hungrier. Yeah. It's usually a good time to catch big browns on free stints. Yeah. It's a good time to chase some out. of their lake runs. It's yeah. a good time to be out there. <laughs> that is, that's great info. <laughs> you have no, you such guys, a good microphone voice. It's yeah. a great time to be out there, <laughs> yeah, guys. You guys are just nailing it. So yeah. here I am. <laughs> uh, Caddis are on the horizon. Blue wing yes. owls are hatching. You still have midges in play. Of course, everyone's favorite <laughs> streamers, molting stone flies. Yeah. Oh. streamers, streamers are <laughs> uh, streamers are in play. Uh, I mean, nothing's all the attra- off limits yeah, right now. Nothing's off limits. All the attractors are are in in the mix on the tailwaters and on the on the freestone. So uh, it's a good time. Can I say something? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, one thing with the freestones, though, you also have to watch out in April is if you do get those like really nice days, you'll get some muddy water. You know, like. The Roaring Fork Valley, stuff like that. Eagle, you know, you will see some muddy off-color days following like a seven. A little snow day, melt. So, yeah. yeah. So Especially keep that lower down. Well, so those still check areas. those flows. Utilize utilize flow charts before you head out to yeah. chocolate milk. So I think there's some questions coming up in the question and answer portion that might actually lean into a little bit more of that. So we'll save that for later. Oh, sorry. Cool. Yeah. Uh, thanks for everyone who dropped comments in the last episode for uh, with questions for April. Again, for May, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, we will pick two to three uh, questions, and you guys will get prize packs uh, with stuff from Umpqua. We have hats, sweatshirts, fly boxes, and then, of course, our good friends at Rising threw in some big nippers. So, yes. Uh, Sweet. Uh, yeah. Shout out to all those. Shout out to those guys. Those two guys. <laughs> shout out to them. Uh, so let's get to it. We're, we're going to talk five flies, answer some questions. Tanner, are you excited? <laughs> yep. I'm always excited for this. <laughs> I can tell. All right. Let's get to it. For those of you who don't know, Vaughn's a little stressed today. Yeah, this is his daughter's it's birthday, daughter's so he's like in a hurry to get out of here. Yeah, we got one camera going, not two. He's got cake on the mind. Yeah, he forgot. This is perfect example. I always say it. <laughs> he has forgot a tripod in one of his cameras, but so we're just going to be here, which is fine. Yeah. But you Maybe guys I'll are just you guys are in. seeing it. You know, you, yeah. you, like the more you watch, the more you'll see what we live with, which is ultimately hilarious. So it's really just an insider <laughs> viewpoint to the behind the scenes at Trout's. Right. It's a little BTS Trout's. Right, right. If we're being honest, it's a little bit too much for me to wrap my head around. You guys are getting like an in. Like a real view of my brain, and it's sort of scary. It's hey, this is <laughs> dumb brain. Co- this is what me and Courtney live. You know, being a group chat with this guy, it's usually pretty. <laughs> text you like four, fifteen minutes coming back to Argentina, like winky faces. You're like, cool, man. That was a pretty sick job right there. <laughs> yeah. yes. I got. I was in like multiple chats with you, and you replied to every chat the exact same. So I just had like winky faces. Yeah, across was, the board. It was like the smiling, laughing emoji. So it was like group chat with you. I think talking about this group chat with like other person. Group chat with like the rest of the shop, and it's just like. The sag got like two smiley faces in one, three in the next, and like back to two in the last. And I was like, "What time did I send those texts?" Early. Yeah. I, yeah. When did you get back? I could so uh, I flew back from I Buenos confirm. Aires to Houston, and we landed in Houston. I think at, if I'm not mistaken, like five or six in the morning. Was this Sunday morning or when? Four uh, fifteen. Four fifteen. Yeah. So so five fifteen in the morning in, in Houston, no, and no I just deal. like fired texts off, and then like halfway through, I was like, "Ah, oh, damn, it is pretty early. I should have like." held off it's like, pretty early but, 4 15 uh, on saturday yeah i just love that you didn't like really need to reply but you felt that you replied to everything you know look man i'd been so you gave the two emoji reply it's like bro that's not a reply you know just it doesn't count it's three emojis <laughs> for future reference <laughs> yeah now that we're uh now that we've gone through all the texting rules <laughs> for group chats we're gonna get to these are also the one. instagram reply to comment rules yeah 
Yes. Flavor one. <clears throat> so here it is. <laughs> it's olive. It's an olive. You did that for me, didn't you? And copper. Okay. Well, there's some conversation to be had here. Okay, let's do uh, it. It's an olive, <laughs> but mostly it's a copper. Lil Kim. Uh, Tanner, do you like olive streamers? I like copper and olive streamers. I, I love also <laughs> like copper and olive streamers. Courtney. I love olive streamers. <laughs> what do about love copper and olive? Yeah. I love copper and olive and olive and olive. Do you like and all olive? If you olive? just had that fly like, just straight olive, would you be happy with that? Fly? I would still. Yeah. That's crazy. It's all about the motion you put into the streamer, guys. <sighs> it's about the materials, what about the water olive? movement, the, and the motion in the ocean. For it to be fully the river. olive, does it have to have an olive bead? Or can no. It have a, okay. I mean, the majority mm-hmm. of the material on there, let's, let's, let's be real. The majority of the material on there is olive. There are a few strands of flash in there, yes, and there's some wrap. I see it, and so they stick out because they're more reflective they're cooler. Ag- <laughs> against the olive. But ninety percent of the material in there is olive. When I see this in the water, I don't see the olive because the olive is basically invisible in the water, and it's a stupid color. <laughs> it's a stupid color. <laughs> but we can all agree that we like that fly, which yeah. is why yes. we use it for <laughs> little Kim is fly. sweet. Little Kim, yeah. I mean the the flash, the flash, the marabou, it moves. I mean, all joking aside, olive is clearly mm-hmm. an effective color. Right. Um, it is. I've seen Courtney catch fish on it. I've seen other people catch fish on it. Um, I just don't catch fish on it because it's all about. To me, stream fishing is all about confidence. My confidence it's not your level confidence fly. with olive is like we low. Did, um, it's very high with this fly, though. I think the right. first time you and I did five flies was on the Eagle River. Mm-hmm. We might have been two years ago now, mm-hmm. but that was the fly, and we were. I was super successful, and it was right around this time. No. Yeah. Yes, I do agree that the flash in it creates some attention. It's cooler. Yeah. <laughs> it's cooler. It's, yeah. cooler. it's prettier. <laughs> yeah. I'm confident in it because it's pretty. I want to make it clear. Good. I know olive is a good color at streamer fishing. I just hate it. Yeah. Tanner, I think are you willing to admit that? No, I mean, I will fish that fly. So if that's olive, like, I'm guilty, you know? So <laughs> that's a good one. That and that, and it comes in tan as well. So you fish a little tandem that. With yeah. a little small tan one. That, those tan ones can. are fire. Yeah, yeah. that's, a, that's, Agreed. A, that's yeah. a good fly. So, my favorite thing about olive flies is that every time Courtney catches a fish on an olive fly, she tags me on Instagram <laughs> for me to see that they work. It's like, God, that's thanks a lot, Courtney. Thanks. Entirely true. It's okay. You don't like my pictures anyway. Ooh. Okay. Now we're going to get into the middle school portion <laughs> of five flies. <laughs> so, there it is. Fly number one. Smash that like button. <laughs> For me, not for Courtney, though. <laughs> uh, special like looking. Fly number one. Blue wing olives. Betas. <laughs> Pat Dorsey. Yeah. Mercury betas. Courtney. Yeah. What do you like about the mercury betas? Um, besides the fact that it's just a great all around betas pattern, yeah. I feel like it's one of my go tos in my box, whether it's for myself or guiding. I run it across. Tailwaters, free stones, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's a good presenting fly and representation. Tanner. You think? Everything you need in a betas, blooming olive, a merger, no. you know? It's the all-in-one. You know, we say this a lot. If people like Pat Dorsey or Craven mm-hmm. or Landon tie flies, you know, they fish as well quite a quite a bit. So, yeah, for his waters, that's about as good as it can get. Yeah. The, uh, it has the obviously the little bead at the front, and then it has a lot of uh, similarities to... The RS2, obviously, it's like a little bit in that in that realm. Um, yeah, I could see that. What size ranges do you uh, do you like fishing this in? It's weird a because six. this bar is like blocking your. I know. I know. <laughs> this is <laughs> like for me too. Quick it's setup. like doing the same thing for the camera. I'm like, but hi. I'm, I'm just a, imagine I'm that like, I'm. Hey, here. what's up, dude? Just I'm a big <laughs> enough guy. You don't have to actually see me to see yeah. me. Yeah. You know? Cool. cool. You don't actually have to see me to see me. Yeah. So as I was saying, size size range. Um, I mean, eighteen to twenty-two. Yeah. I really like. I mean. Don't shy away from fishing 18s of blooming olives, even down at Deckers. There, I mean, there's big betas there. You'll see them flying in the mm-hmm. air. It's like, especially early on in know, the spring. So yeah, have I mean, yeah, before they get to those like pseudos and stuff like yeah. that. But yeah, have have some bigger flies. I mean, 18. If you hook a fish on a bigger fly, as we always say, you have a better chance of landing it. So yeah. And this is something you can drop underneath a small dry. You can do a small dry, small dry dropper. Uh, you Little can fish dropper. Oh, yeah. yeah. It can be. It's super versatile in terms of how you can present it. Uh, Courtney, if you were to pick one watershed that isn't the South Platte that you like to fish this on, what would it be? Arkansas. Good choice. Good choice. I agree. Fact. 
That's a good choice. Yeah, in fact, it's a good choice. Fact one. I was there two weekends ago. It's it's wait, it's heating up. It's heating it up. Is, yeah. We see uh, bank-to-bank risers in no time. Mm-hmm. And catch none of them. <laughs> catch for quite me. a few of them, though. Yeah, for yeah. me, maybe. You know? <laughs> cool. That's fly number two. Fly number three, go now, Yvonne. Fly number three, let's go! <laughs> let's Is right. there fruit involved? In cake? I feel like, no, Whole, Whole Foods always like puts fresh True fruit on top of their cakes. I don't it's know. delicious. My parents are bringing the cake. Don't judge me for my fruit. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to have fruit on it. If your parents are bringing it, fruit's going to be on the cake 100%. <laughs> right. Look, I'll eat fruit. I oh, eat yeah. fruit. I'm a fruit eater. Yeah. Right. I don't want to brag. I've had fruit before and I'll have it again. <laughs> Line number three. We're going to go Psycho Prince. Mm. Chartreuse. Boom. Good attractor. Size 16. You can also do 18. You also do 14. 14. Courtney, what do you like about the Psycho Prince? I like the weight and I like the attractiveness of it. Yeah. It's fishy. <laughs> it's fishy. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a totally fair comment. It's a handsome fly. It is. You know what? I actually think that is a totally legit description a for that fly. fly yeah. There's a little bit of shine. It's kind of like the olive streamer. It's olive, but it's got that flash. Same thing. It's got a little flashy beak, got a nice collar, got a little flash in the wings. It's yep. a good, it's just this a good is like fly. The, this buyout is the wings always the tie. Buyout wings always in yeah. confidence, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Like, Ooh, man, that fly does look good. It's got buyout right. wings. Great that is fly true. for yeah. a little bit of off color water right. Right. Yeah. when you're nymphing. Right. Yep. On a real caddis emerger, on a free stones, have that yep. ready to rock and roll. But yeah, it can still get away with being like an attractor stone fly or just mm-hmm. an attractor something, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> I think to Courtney's point, and we'll sort of touch on this a little bit later. Uh, let me answer some questions, but yeah, great fly in uh, in a little bit off color. Off color water. water. Yeah. You can either go flashy or you can go dark, and this is one of those good flashy flies. It's um, pretty. It's pretty. It's handsome. It's handsome. Yeah. yeah. Handsome psycho prince. What a handsome little psycho prince. Is that is. a confidence fly for you, Yvonne? It is. Is it? it? Is. Especially uh, Colorado or the Ark. Yeah. Um, that Ark I'm man gonna, just keeps coming up. Yeah, I'm gonna fish that for sure. Yeah, I learned the Psycho Prince uh, confidence from Tanner. I'm not going to steal that thunder. That's a that's a long standing. That's a long standing Tanner confidence fly in the Arkansas. So I'm not going to steal that thunder, Tanner. What? We'll talk a little <laughs> bit more about how you like to fish this on the Ark. Hey, my friend who used to work at a fly shop named Anglers Covey, Kevin Gossage, got me stoked on that when I was we were much younger. So, I mean, I can't steal his thunder, but. Uh, yeah, that fly. I mean, that fly produces, man. It's yeah. it's good. It's flashy. I like it on clear clear water. Fish it deep, change its depth. I like that fly a lot. Yeah, you will be amazed. You know, yeah. You're like no way this is gonna get it eat. And it's like, man, this thing keeps getting. It's trout candy. Yeah, it's like wow. Looks like a little sour patch kid floating down the river. Mm-hmm. And a trout can't say no to that. I love sour patch kids. Right. Bars of trout. I need them. <laughs> Cake and sour patch kids. We're, we're uh, <laughs> yeah, we're getting a lot of insight into why I'm uh, a little bit larger than everyone else on the panel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sour Patch Kids and cake. <laughs> I'm a big fat dumb trout. Nothing wrong with that. You're a still water trout. That's a friend. pretty good yeah. life, though. Right? Listen, guys, people want to catch me. I'm a catch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell my wife. I was well played. <laughs> well played. So there we go. There's fly number three. We're gonna get to the question and answer portion. Let's do it. Thanks, everyone. Breathe in the good. Breathe out the evil, man. Topo Chico. <laughs> yeah, in case you guys didn't know, we just all got some Topo Chicos on Yvonne. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank cheers. you. Cheers. 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 All cheers. of us together. Cheers. <laughs> We're the tripod <laughs> that you didn't bring. <laughs> that you didn't bring. Yeah. Let's do this. I don't want to brag. I left it in my suitcase from Argentina. <laughs> How are the Browns down pretty there? Good They're pretty cool. That, <clears throat> as an aside, I had a, a very good opportunity to go down to Patagonia, and uh, first time, I would like to go back. The uh, sort of like the like cliff notes of it. It's f- cooler than you thought it was. At least for me, I thought it was gonna be cool. It was like everything that trout fishing should be. It was cool. And it was like old school, right? Like like what trout fishing probably was in Colorado like yeah. 60 years ago yeah. plus. When it, like our guy got depressed when we would have to nymph. And his idea of nymphing was putting a dropper 12 inches below the dry fly. That's when he was like, I think we're going to have to nymph this one. And you're like, 
oh, this damn. is like a special technique where I'm yeah, from. Like, you're like, oh, damn, like bobbers, huh? And he goes, no, 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 no. we're going to tie this small, we're going to tie this 16. Was it all dries otherwise? And streamers. Olive? They didn't eat olive. I tried. <laughs> I tried because the water is much clearer. Yeah. And I was like, oh, look, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a college try. And I did. And I lost it in a tree and put on black. And then Crelexes oh. and they smashed Oh, Crelexes. But no one likes those flies. I do. I hate that fly. Same here. Why? I'm kidding. He's JKing. Oh, I was like, I literally just caught so many fish like yeah. two weekends ago on one. No one so believes us fun. when we say that fly is good. And that's cool. It's good. Yeah. If people don't want to think, I think people do believe it. Yeah. Yeah. I work in the store. People believe it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I work yeah, in the yeah, store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we saw I don't know, but Ryan Jones. We saw a lot of those flies. Yeah. yeah Ryan Jones was like. <laughs> When he when he came into the shop and I was like, you should fish this fly. He goes, really? I was like, yeah, man. He goes, should I really? Like he was like, yeah, you should. Come on, Jonesy. Flash. The flash, yeah, the come weight. Come on, RP Jones. Yeah. Yeah. RP Jonesy. All right. So anyway, <laughs> question and answer portion. There are a lot of good questions in last under last month's video. We really appreciate the uh, the questions. It was hard to narrow it down to three. Uh, keep them coming for next month. Uh, really appreciate it. Obviously. Uh, prize packs, prize packs are up for grabs. Right. Um, so here we go. Let's start uh, with Brian Kosminski. His question. I'm going to ignore the fact that he says got to have olive and all streamers, and just go to the question. It says, uh, <laughs> "How long and short is your leader in streamer fishing? Does it change regarding water color, turbidity, or time of year?" Courtney, since you were on the Orvis podcast with Tom Rosenbauer, who? Oh, it's true. We're gonna <laughs> ask you first. Oh, great. Uh, I'm going to need you to like, so it was down a little bit. Yeah. It was leader length, right? Yeah. How long and short is your leader? Does it change regarding, uh, watercolor and turbidity and time of year? Turbidity. So that's like such a legit yeah, word. Let's just, word. let's just say time of year <laughs> is this year. Yeah. And let's just say you're like, first off, do you go floating line or are you a sinking line? Do you sink yeah. tip? Like what's your so strategy? So I am a um, Orvis Helios 3D, nine foot, seven weight, all through. Hashtag. <laughs> yeah, hashtag. hashtag. Um, yeah. And uh, I uh, use a sink tip 100% of the time. How long is that sink tip? Um, It's like a sink tip line. Yeah, is it like a 24 foot? You got like a 12 foot? You got like, yeah. what, are you, what are you rocking? I'm trying to think what mine is actually. Now you say that. I don't have to look. I don't know. I think that you use that or the Orvis lines. Yeah, what, like twelve. Feet I think it's like twelve. 12 yeah, 15, yeah. 15, 15, like so, yeah. so I didn't think. Yeah, it's the Orvis line. I do think it's like. Yeah. 12 oh, so 15. you're not using like tapered. You're using just the full sink tip line. That's a that's good to know. You know. Yeah, so. yeah. So sink tip line. Yeah. So yeah. not leader. Right. When I say sink tip, um, and then I'm using just a standard <clears throat> mono leader off of it, <clears throat> and honestly. I'd say my links vary between maybe four to six feet. Yeah. Um, I don't get too caught up in length um, because I just think there's so much more to the presentation of the streamer. And so I am a lot of times my um, leaders aren't even like streamer leaders. They're just like my buttons and my right. old leaders. Right. Yeah. Um, but I'd say four to six feet is my average length. Um, maybe I'll lengthen it if the water is super clear and I'm in the boat and you know, it's midsummer and the fish are spooky because they're in the shallows and the boats right there. So I'll yeah. make it longer or I'll just cast longer. Um, Sick brag. <laughs> well, I just mean like maybe I'll adjust my, my <laughs> line management. Yeah, 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 Is that yeah, better? Yeah. I'll just cast it an extra country mile. <laughs> yeah, no, big deal. I mean, come on now. None of our rivers are that yeah, big here. That's not that impressive. <laughs> it's like a I knew what you meant. Yeah. Thanks. Just Thanks, I'm just, Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for having my back, yeah, bud. Hey, it's just evolved, I'm going to like this photo of yours real quick. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. Do you remember that time that you went through and liked them all when we were like Dude, stuck I'm not on very good at liking pass? photos on Instagram. Because my bad. little known fact, whenever Yvonne and I go out to do content, 70 closes down or 285 every this is true. single time. So we get up with a lot of time, hours sitting or in real Dude, sketchy situations. I, liked, I didn't like that last one, but I liked the one before that. I get out of here, Courtney. This is, I won't be slandered like this. Not on my own show. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, like, so um, four to six feet yeah, for sure. Four to six feet, um, yeah. Not tapered leader. I'm usually a 2X, 3X girl um, yeah. in our Colorado waters. Was there another part to that question? I kind of feel like I'm forgetting a part. Uh, how does or it change that? with water watercolor? Yeah. Okay. 
just, I would say what I was saying before, if it's super clear, like midsummer or something, and I'm fishing streamers, I may lengthen my leader a little bit if I can't adjust how far I'm casting. Yeah. Like, because the boat can only go here because the water's shallow, I may make my leader a little longer. Yeah. If it gets off color, you shorten it up. Mm. Not, I think, I, I mean, maybe a little bit, but I'm, I just kind of stick with that standard four yeah. to six. There's not a lot of adjustments for me. I'm really big on that non slip loop knot. Mm -hmm. Um, because I, again, I think so much of it's just about the presentation of the streamer and the strip or the motion through the streamer. And so anything that impacts that, of course, if you have a six inch leader, that's going to impact that. But I feel like, be tough. yeah, be tough. I also, if I'm using that sink tip and I'm looking to get it down, I don't want to get too long of a leader because I'm just getting further from the sink and right. I'm kind of offsetting the purpose of having that sink tip. What do right. you think, buddy? Float line guy, huh? Um, big float I mean, line there, guy. Yeah, there's, I mean, a lot of that stuff I agree with. I mean, it makes total sense, but. I mean, I think you guys nailed the head. It's darker water, I'm gonna. That's when I am gonna use like sinking leaders and stuff like that. Darker water, I want that fly down and shorter leaders. You know, yeah. that way because you're not really when you're fishing muddy water, you're not really like seeing the action of the fly. You're just kind of fishing, so you're like fishing fishy spots. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So down in the zone, I think is really good in off color water, um, like those tail outs, back eddies, that sort of stuff. And the reason you're <clears throat> short, you guys are shortening the leader with you're trying to get. Down the, faster. Down, yeah. get yeah. the fly yeah. down faster, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But you're on, so you're running your leader off a floating line, right? Typically for yeah, you? Yeah, probably. But uh, like, but I'll use like those airflow poly leaders. Yeah. So if you haven't yeah. checked those out, like five feet, eight feet, I think those are awesome. They don't throw off like the taper of like casting a floating yeah. line too much. Where sometimes like, you know, like those companies that make like 12 foot sinking poly leaders, it's like at that point, like that's so hard to cast. Like mm -hmm. go buy a sink tip because it's tapered to handle a sink yeah. tip, you know? Um, so yeah, those short poly leaders are nice, but for me, if I'm walk waiting, you're in the boat more than I'm in the boat, you know? So mm -hmm. you're going to fish the, like I'll, I'll lengthen my leader pretty long in like clear water. Like you said, um, just because I like to create the action. I think a longer leader on a floating line when you're walk waiting lets you swim the fly and yeah. be creative with the fly and move it and stuff like that. So and yeah, if you're, it's all about if you're fishing a floating sure. line, you actually want to lengthen the leader mm -hmm. and get right, it down, faster, get down right? faster. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so same, line same, as well the, as same purpose is just different summary here, summary is uh sinking line like a sink tip sinking line mm -hmm. you're shorten the leader to get it down faster yeah. uh the floating line you're lengthening the leader to get down faster right for all the but what would you say your like average length of your leader is not talking about like the outlier scenarios if I'm fishing floating line, I mean, if on fishes with me enough, like sometimes like nine, mm -hmm. 11 feet, you know, yeah. I think I get, you get on floating line, you get more takes that way. You certainly miss way more fish the longer <laughs> and longer your leader gets away from that line. But if it's walk weight, I, yeah, I have no problem going super weird and long, but no. I feel like walk waiting. That's yeah. not super weird. Right, I yeah, think it is with it's... the floating line walk waiting. Right. I would totally be longer too. I'm going to offer the third opinion here. Uh, I go intermediate. I have a, I, I fish a full intermediate for the most part, and like probably will. He have just learned that in Patagonia. <laughs> <laughs> I own the line for several I've, years. I've never Are we talking about the, like a single weight intermediate? I've never seen the three fish <laughs> intermediate line in my whole life. That's not true at all. <laughs> that's a it's like <laughs> lie. This yeah. man's lying to your faces. It might be fake a news. Lie. Fake yeah, news. It was a lie. You're yeah. right. You're right. But I got you going. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm quick to trigger right now. Yeah. He wants his cake. Yeah, I want my cake. Uh, so I go like full intermediate and uh, most like mostly out of the boat, I'll go full intermediate. But like out of the, like if I'm walk waiting, I'll usually go floating. Um, but then on that intermediate, I'll probably go like, I'll manage the length of leader to, to manage the how far I want to get down and what fly I'm fishing. So if it's got like a dumbbell head, like mm -hmm. I might throw... Uh, a little bit longer leader and if it's a little bit if it's an unweighted fly or something that isn't super heavy i'll shorten leaders to try to let the intermediate line uh get it down a little faster but i'm just the intermediate line for me isn't like oh i'm trying to sink it deep it's mostly trying to get it like get it down quick enough that when i'm stripping through i'm like hitting the structure and stuff like that but that's that's my take probably the best take here let's be real yeah because be. he just got back from yeah. patagonia yeah, i don't know will. if you heard or not yeah. Winky emoji. Just literally just learned that. <laughs> oh, pinky up on that yeah. one. Pinky up. <laughs> Topo with the pinky. Yeah. So thanks for the question, Brian. We'll uh, shoot you an email or not. I'll respond in the, the comment section and you shoot us an email. Uh, let us know your address and all that stuff. We'll get the prize packs sent out. So 
that's question number one. Question number two, we sort of alluded to this a little bit uh, in the intro. Uh, this is from Beards and Brooks Fly Fishing. <coughs> Beards and Brooks Fly Fishing says, what is the effect of snowmelt in the river besides increased flows? You get to the river and it's dirtier and higher or higher than you ex- uh, were expecting. What's the first thing you change up? Technique, flies, location, all of the above. Cheers. Solid Boys? question. Yeah. Super solid question. Yeah. Who wants to who wants to take that one first? Tanner, you start. Okay. Ooh, here we go, Tanner. Um, in the hot seat. Hot seat. Uh, I'm glad about this. I like this question a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to change a lot of things. So, I mean, it's going to change not just the clarity of the water this time of year. It's going to change the temperature of the water. It's going to be cold, snowy water that's making it muddy. So keep that in mind as well. So it might be off color, but fish a little bit later in the day. Second thing on that is if you see high off color water, don't be so quick to panic that it's going to be just the worst day ever. You know, you see people like fish muddy water, like they just like won't even touch it. And it's like, if you go find like a muddy stretch of river that's been muddy for a few days and you go find like a soft seam off like a big current, like you go throw some junk bugs, like a worm to a pat's rubber leg to like another worm, like you can like, rail absolutely pound fish you know and yeah. you'll be the only person there and everybody like no you know it's like yeah you're, they're not eating and your, you can use big tippet right right <laughs> it's like yeah they're not eating your size 22 flashback mercury pt or something you they know? will though <laughs> they will possibly yeah. i mean you know and chocolate milk but like yeah you're getting fish that are out chowing you know you're gonna have to work a little harder to find where they're at but once yeah. you find them they're gonna be stacked in there so yeah i guess does that sum up the whole question don't be scared of it. It's going to, I mean, it's going to lower elevations are going to be snow melts going to get hit first. So keep that in mind. What's as well. the first thing you're going to adjust? Yeah. You change the technique flies. I'm um, yeah. driving to another spot. Uh, I mean, I'll, I don't think I'll drive to another spot. I'm going to fish where I'm at. You know, like I, I came there for a reason. So I'm going to, I'm going to probably change my flies, like my method of attack, like where I might've been hoping this time of year to go see some clear water and catch some fish on beta. It's like, I'm going to immediately go to like a junk rig and, dirty yeah. have so you're going yeah to, your technique dirty and deep. is changing and therefore your flies are changing right my flies are changing yeah. that's you know junky flies are like that's how i you know that's that's you me. are saying one of that's next. me you yeah. know so like i'm a fan of that like give me the muddy water like i want that stuff <laughs> born for it Born. i was made for it yeah <laughs> built different <laughs> yeah. just i like it courtney um what i do you think? completely agree with tanner i mean the wow. first thing i'm first gonna, time Tanner's ever said something someone agrees with. Let's go. Thank you. So um, I, said, I feel like we agree on yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. I think he's just jealous because ah, yeah, you guys don't align like we align. Right. I'm peanut butter. Same. I'm peanut butter yeah. and jealous. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think, you know, <laughs> just my yeah. first thing I'm going to adjust, like he was talking about rigs um, as far as flies go. Yeah. I'm probably going to be, if I'm probably going to, there's a good chance of slowly streamer fishing, but I'm, right. I may switch to a nymph. Right. I'm just going to get <clears throat> long in my nymph rig. Right. And I, there's probably going to be more weight than I already have and i tend to be a big weight person big weight person um big split shot person on my nymph rig so just making sure that i was gonna say yvonne's also a big weight person (laughs) 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 Um, xbox clip that for uh like four months from now this is gonna be my fuel sorry again (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. This I'm, is like become, we need I'm to make running this, it back. Okay, this needs the to be yo-yo, a the, lifestyle. The Yo-Yo King is back. <laughs> okay, this oh. needs to be a lifestyle, not a season, buddy. <laughs> Look, there's um, cake in April. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, dude. Um, Sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna definitely adjust my length and definitely adjust or go higher in my weight. Um, obviously, flows are up. They're probably gonna be a little more intense. I want to make sure that those flies are getting down in the zone oh, yeah. when it's already kind of hard for the fish to see anyway. So I'm getting down there and i'm keeping them in that zone as long as possible to have a realistic drift that something can actually get to and eat what flies you throw on that aren't i'm not gonna i'm i mean i'm with him i'm definitely like uh give me a worm give me an egg give me a pat's rubber leg um i may you know throw a flashy weighted something in there typically bigger than that that yeah um but I don't have any shame in going dirty at all. The joy of like catching fish on like a Pat's rubber leg and a red squirming worm that's like this mm-hmm. long is like actually pretty awesome. Pretty yeah. hilarious. You're like, this is hilarious. Yeah. It is really a joy. <laughs> yeah. It truly is. Right, right. 
It's a like, treat if yeah. we're being honest. <laughs> right. You're like, you can is, throw those three your flies fish like and two catch X fish. and it's just like, flunk, and Byron's yeah. just like disappearing. You're like, this yeah. is hilarious. Yeah. They attack so, it yeah. in that dirty right. water. They're excited. Right. right. Exactly. They're Give excited. them the protein. Yeah. Give them the meals. They want That's the cake good. too. Yeah. Well, I yeah. think too, like you were saying it earlier, but you have to remember trouts, trouts, not trouts, but the trout are affected <laughs> by constants and changes right. the most. So if it's been, you know, runoff starting but it's been three or four days they still got to eat right. they're gonna adjust it may right. take right. them half day or a day but right. they still got to right. eat that's how their body works so give it a minute don't run yeah and i think yeah now that you alluded to a good point weight doesn't just get your flies in; it slows your flies down too mm-hmm. so that's like if you know you're fishing a deep hole you can always like control your depth by your indicator you know so it's like weight will slow your slow those flies down and keep them in that heavy fast water and it's crazy how if they're just sitting there like they will get picked up for sure and the fish will go lower just like they will right. in colder temps they'll go lower to the slower water right because they'll be lazy <laughs> they are i was gonna say something else but i won't say it <laughs> we can't be piled on me like this man come on dude i got children man i know dude my bad <laughs> I've got children in Did you see him check his watch just a minute ago? Yeah. He's like, cake is in T minus 45 minutes. I got to move this along. I'm late for cake, y'all. I'm late for cake. I'm out here grinding for you guys. Late for cake. cake. You should open this with like cake, that song. I don't think we were allowed allowed to get copyright banned. And I don't don't need another copyright ban in my life. Uh, I agree. I actually agree with everything you guys just said. I thought that was really good info. That's the other thing. We're aligned. The other, yeah, we are aligned. We're aligned. The thing I would add is, uh, if you like, okay, so you get most people get two days off a week, right? And they get to fish those two. Like, right. Those are the two days they get to fish. Yeah. And if it's going to be hot, like, and you know it's going to be off color, don't necessarily that, that, that like don't use that as a deterrent as to not go fishing. Right. Like, you can yeah. also change it up like. If it's going to be hot and you know that there's going to be water pushing out of like all the tributaries and it's going to be mucking stuff up, go early. Like mm-hmm. right. get out there early, right. before that cha- that real little shift happens because you'll start to see sick. that shift. Right. Mid. That's also a good point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> personal day. Personal day. Yeah. Mental to health. To do personal health things. Uh, but if river. you get out there early before that, you start seeing those shifts in. Uh, like the water gets starts to get cold and off color, you can catch little windows uh, where it can be productive, um, tr- more traditionally productive, right? Like you can still catch them, obviously, when it gets off color, as we've as we've mentioned. Some of my uh, most fondest memories are when it's like most down fondest. fishing. Ru- I don't know if that's the right look. <laughs> I got cake on the brain. I can't be trusted with grammar, <laughs> but like the like some of the best days He's you ever like have are like when it. you're yeah. like it's awfully long winded today. I'm sorry. When you're uh, when you're like like smacking them in one one like run where it's super soft water and yeah. those fish are just stacked, so. like behind a right. big rock, right? Yeah, natural break, yeah. right? Good job, Vaughn. I agree with everything you said. Yeah, Vaughn, Good that job. was great. Thanks. I agree with you. I align with you. We're we're aligning. So. Hey, can we all align together? Perfect. Um. We're aligned. <laughs> all right, last question. Topos and so thanks Topos. to Beards and Brooks. Yeah, you guys are out here trashing good my questions. I just gave you guys Topo Chico's. You know right. how valuable this is? Sorry. <laughs> is it like 10 cents for the <sighs> bottle? Or? Bro, these were hard to find. They really are. They're sold out in my They're neck. sold out everywhere. Which you don't is know just the, the water one? No, I didn't, no. I didn't yeah, know the about the glass this. bottles, man. Yeah. It's short. It's crazy. It's real. Uh, this question from Lenya. Lenya, uh, thank you for the questions. Always good to see you around the shop. Uh, her question is, uh, so she, she started off by agreeing with Tanner and I about netting our own fish, uh, automatic oh. points for that. Agreeing with us is always great. <laughs> uh, but her question is what size net do you recommend when fishing rivers? You are more likely to pull big fish from like the Eagle or the dream. Uh, I'm currently using a fish pond nomad emerger net and sometimes feel like it should, uh, I should have something bigger like a rising brookie net, but as a woman, I find the rising nets a bit heavy to manage. Any suggestions on lighter weight or larger net? By the way, love the videos. Learn so much from you guys. And even get some of the movie quits and the other fun facts. So shout out to Lenya. Sweet. We appreciate you too, man. Yes. Uh, so I would agree. Dog. I have the same issue with the rising nets. I didn't know if it was a woman thing. I just thought they're going to heavy. Right. Um, Not all but of us I, have the mass of a cake eater like yeah. me. You know? I'm okay with that. Um, but <laughs> Tully's a rising. Fair enough. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like the death of my eyes. Like, you like, see death in my eyes. You guys are just Fire <laughs> fire to each other today. I love this. You should come out on a photo day with us. Yeah, uh, this is good, man. I'm laughing pretty hard. She <laughs> killed my dog. <laughs> I did not kill your dog. <laughs> okay, so, sorry. So that's All the right. that's let's, the other. Let's un- get back to this. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. According. That's the other little unknown fact about every time we go fish. Not only does the road shut down, but something tragic happens, happens in Yvonne's yeah, yeah. life. Or, I mean, tragic. That's just Yvonne. That's just Yvonne in general, though. Like, yeah. Yeah. I have to, like, this is RIP me. Awkwardly yeah. in the car with him, I'm yeah. like, you you okay, buddy? You, like, nah, I wasn't tissue? okay. I was pretty sad. Yeah. Okay, so um, it's pretty, getting pretty dark in here. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I do use a long-handled fish pond net, and um, we were just talking about what's. I'm trying to think what net size I have right now. The El Jefe is good, but the Nomad been like this. The mid length is a good little bit longer yeah. than the merger, so that's yeah, a, that's a good one. But uh, and then for me, only because it is a female asking the question. So for me, I take that net and I put it between. Um, my hip pack and my back and I put it at an angle um, because one of the issues I run into with height is when I go longer in my handle which is key because I need it for my height yeah. it also smacks the back of my legs when I'm trying to walk and I basically trip myself <laughs> with my nuts. so so I put it on an angle but I do stick to fish pond it's just yeah. comfort and durability I mean I have some weight. of the same nets for six, seven years, easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, as long Can't as really it doesn't, beat it. yeah, float away. Those are tough to beat for sure. Yeah, we're both for fans of the rising net, yeah. but if if you're looking for a lighter weight net, it's hard to beat the fish ponds. Oh, I would add one thing. It's like I mean, have a net for fish that you want to catch, not for the fish that are you know. Like, yeah. yeah. There's nothing worse than being in a situation when you're going to a place where there's big fish and like your net isn't built to handle the fish that you actually want to catch. So. It's going to be annoying. Yeah. Like I carry around a lunker with like the extra deep bag and it's, you know, it, it's heavy. It clanks like bangs, like my back heel catches my line every time I try to strip streamers, but that's going to be any long handle net. But like when I need that net, yeah. it you're is, thankful you have it. Yeah. It's, it delivers. Yeah. And it's like, I will bring it every time I go fish somewhere where there's big fish. So I think no nets perfect, but yeah they make a they make a huge difference in having the right tool you know you so. can drink out of them right you can yeah this Absolutely. is this goes back to my theory that the best the best fly fishing bag and the best net are guides who carry your stuff for you but if you have to you know like well he just got back from patagonia yeah. you know so he just got hey i carried a lot got of back from stuff. guides yeah. there's actually a there's actually yeah. a uh, for those of us who yeah, can't actually, afford guides or fish, trips you know, to so, patagonia yeah. Yeah. there's actually a moment nice. we have to guide ourselves <laughs> yeah. Yeah. there's a moment on the water when, uh, right. by I, ourselves here i handed the rod <laughs> to the guide and he fished he caught he caught a really nice fish and he had a really small like and i don't want to cast judgment on the uh, elderly men in the audience, but some do, old dudes got small nets. Right. They got those old classic wooden nets that are just, yeah. they're too small. They're classics. And uh, this fish was big, and I had to try to scoop this scoop the fish with that net, and I I almost messed it up like two, three times. Well, I would have killed for- To have the right size net. Yeah, yeah, to have the right size right. net. It's like a confidence piece right. too. right. Carry a bigger net. More right. likely, carry, you're right. more likely to catch a big right. fish. Right. There's a thing. I swear. You look, exactly. look kind of goofy out there, but like, hey, I think they're so you know. normal now. Right. Like yeah. I feel like even when I, you're right, I do float right. a lot. But even when I do wade fish, I feel like most people I see around they have a pretty, they have a decent right. size net these days. I always, yeah, I always think like people it's a status that, symbol. People that carry a big net probably have a reason. It's for like carrying. a lifted truck. For, for it's carrying. like it's like part of a starter kit, guys. Come on now. But, <laughs> right. but I mean, think about it that way. It's like people who carry a big net. Like there's probably a reason they carry that net. You know what I mean? Like. If that makes sense, they got small socks. I get, yeah, I guess. Like sometimes you gotta dress the part. Before I you mean, if, you, if I see you at the Arkansas with the ginormous net or something, you know, maybe. But yeah. the fish are getting bigger down there. I don't it's know true. if you've noticed the last couple of years, but it's true. We're not talking dreams. Not the ones he's catching. <laughs> it's because he's just out there dry flag <laughs> yeah. fishing. Double dry. On a lovely day. Oh yeah. What's our fourth fly? Let's oh. go. We're gonna we're, let's fourth go. fly. Let's All roll. Right. Here we go. All right. So uh, thanks to Lydia for that question. Uh, if you have <laughs> questions for May, drop them in the comments. Um, we have some things that works. Maybe it might we might have a little warm water tilt to the next one, but we'll still answer Ooh. all these uh, all these questions as well. So uh, stay tuned. Pardon. Wiper. <laughs> Wiper. <laughs> Maybe we'll have Courtney back to talk about. Wiper. <laughs> all right. So let's get to <laughs> flies four and five. Uh, fly number four is the Mercury 
pheasant tail flashback variety. Tanner, did you care to comment on this fly? <laughs> How do you, you feel like about this fly? fly? How do you feel about this fly? I mean, pheasant tails are old standbys. You know, you have to have pheasant tails in your box. They can. This time of year, it's nice to have those basic flies. You know, your pheasant tails. I think we're going to touch on hairs here as well. Have those in all sizes. They imitate. I'll bleep that out. We can't be every bug. selling that out. We can't be what? We can't be giving people the next fly. I'm gonna bleep that out, bro. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> we won't be talking about a hair's ear, but we might be. So bleep, we'll, bleep, we'll get bleep, back bleep, to you. Bleep, 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 bleep. You're gonna have to stick um, with us to find out. You know, you get a bigger pheasant tail, it can be a stone fly if you're fishing in a bigger size. You get in a, you know, like a 14, 16 size, that's a, with like a little hot head. Yep. Could be like a case caddis emerger. You know, you fish it at small sizes, it's betas, it is like have fe- pheasant tails. In all shapes and sizes, soft tackle, you know, oh, hot that's heads, my favorite. Hot heads, soft tackle, mercuries. Soft tackle. Oh yeah. I mean, have have pheasant tails. Pheasant tails are very productive. You know, yeah. great for the free stones. Yeah. Very buggy. Take the thinking out of which betas pattern they're eating. Yeah. Just put on a pheasant tail. Also, this is a great little tailwater pattern. Boom! Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Smashes and cheeseman does well. Make note for all those that are always like, "What do I catch on things on in cheeseman?" Yeah. Try, it, try fly number four yeah, from fly April four. 2022. Courtney, do you have any thoughts on the flashback Mercury bead? Did <laughs> um, not to sound like a broken record, but I completely agree with everything Tanner just said. And like yeah. I said, I think they're good buggy, natural. I'm on a roll tonight. Yeah. I do think they're great on tailwater and they're really good for free stones yeah. when you're in that environment. Another fly you can drop off is a small dropper. If you're fishing small dry droppers. Right? 100%. With those. Not only can you, but I will. You're like uh, the most interesting <laughs> woman in the world. Oh, so? I mean, <laughs> well, isn't that? No. I have no idea what you're talking about right now, but we'll roll with it. With, uh, <laughs> with Dos Equis. The yeah. Dos Equis guy. Yeah. Not only can you, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Something like that. That's so good. I would be a Dos Equis girl, but thank you. That's, that's what I said. I'm not being, this is ridiculous. All right. That's fly number five. Four. Fly number four. That's fly number four. We know. Let's what. get to fly number five. Hold on, let me do it. Let me, let me do the intro. Yeah. Are you ready? <clears throat> Let's see it. Let's see your best voice. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning with us. <laughs> Here's tuning with tuning us. With <laughs> fly number five to get you through the month of April is a hair's ear. Are we talking Yvonne? Are we talking with a bead, without a bead? We're talking what without size? a bead. What do you like? How are you Let's get it? your opinion on this yeah. first. Listen. Tana, Kick us off. Thank you so much for that great intro. You're welcome. <laughs> I love, absolutely love the hairs here. <laughs> love it in all the sizes. We're talking beaded, unbeaded. You know, we got the guide's choice. I love the hairs here. But the the old school, regular ass hairs here. Thank you. You're welcome. That one's for you. Yeah. Classic. Classic. So it, it looks, it can look like, uh, in small enough size, it can look like a mayfly, but generally like, those caddis, stone flies, mm-hmm. uh, it can sort of play the part. You can fish it in a little, you know, you can fish it in still waters. You can fish it on free stones. You can fish it on uh, tail Everywhere. waters. It Everything. is like, if you were to strip it, float it, right. drift yeah. it, yeah. whatever. Yeah, you can, uh, yeah. so if, you can, yeah. if you were to uh, like make me choose between a pheasant tail and a hair's ear, I think would, I'd have a hard choice to make, but I know the choice would be right either way I'd go, right? Like the, the hair's ear gets it done. Love the hair's ear. Agreed. Courtney. Thoughts. Yeah, Court, Courtney, your thoughts? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't, you guys don't, are doing don't it. Don't steal my role. <laughs> Courtney, how do you feel? Do you agree with Yvonne? Or? I completely agree with Yvonne. <laughs> what? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I mean, these are just like good go-to classic flies. Like yeah, there's right. not much else you can say about them. They're right. standbys and they've been around and they're some of the OG flies for a reason. I mean, right. what else do you say about them? It's like They're my- buggy, they're natural, they're good, they're neutral, they can represent a bunch of things you can fish them all over the place right. what else is there to say right. it's like my you dad can change sizes my weights. dad's been fishing those since like the i don't think he was a kid in like the 30s maybe no just kidding. <laughs> oh <laughs> back in the 1800s yeah back in the, they were nymphing this fly they called the him franklin yeah <laughs> franklin the tanklin <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean yeah classics there's nothing yeah. wrong with the classics every once in a while fish them they're yeah. so much more productive than they get credit for you know i think anybody who fishes a good amount, you're going to open their nymph box and they're going to have a couple rows at least of no, both of those. Right. No, they should be like, if they're not in your box, like run, you need get, to be at trouts yeah. tonight. You, you fill in that box or come to our event on Thursday. Yeah. 
right. and fill your box. I don't know. This might not be out by Thursday. We'll see. <laughs> we'll probably be having an event on some Thursday coming up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Happy <laughs> hour. Yeah, it could yeah, be every Thursday hour. and Friday, yeah, four yeah. to close. 50 cents off flies. Boom. Run, run, tell dad. <laughs> What'd you just say? You guys run, tell dad. No. Run, tell dad. Run, tell dad. Who was that? All right. Martin? That wasn't Martin. Who was that? No, nah, never mind. Tanner's that. getting anxious and stressed now. So. Yeah, Tanner needs to go to the game. I actually need to go too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Tanner needs to go to the game. Like, I need to go to a uh, birthday go. party. Courtney, she's traveling because she's yeah. a, she's Courtney's a world traveler. Tomorrow, so. so thanks for the invite. She's going to come back and be like, yeah, I was just in Patagonia. <laughs> Like cool. I won't be. I just went to. Uh, They're like Tanner, have you been anywhere cool? I was like, I just yeah. want to go to Farquhar. Anyone want to go there with me? I'll go to Lord Farquhar. <laughs> I was in Wyoming. Love that movie. This one time. <laughs> you guys want to hear about a story? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> and cut. There it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. So thanks for tuning in to Five Flies for thanks, April. Guys. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys in the shop, online, Boom. on the water. Drop those comments and questions. Yeah. What Courtney said. Yeah, keep hitting us with those questions. We appreciate yeah. it. There's some really good questions this past yeah. month. Yeah. Look forward to your questions next month. Have a great evening. It's time for cake. Let's yeah. go. Bye. Bye. <laughs>